Hi, Aunt Lindy. Hello, everyone. This is Deborah from Old, Old Mom's Old Stuff. And I've got another haul for you. Now, most of these things came from antique store or thrift store. I might have a few things that came from uh, estate sales. Anyway, so, but I think it's mostly antique stores. I went to some antique stores a couple of days ago on my way to visit my brother. <laughs> and I spent about an hour, a couple of hours in each one. But I found some good sale items. And that's what I'm going to share with you today. So we will start with these little 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 pixies little elves they are they're plastic they're plastic and there's a series of them so i i have these two and together for both of them i think i spent about ten dollars and you can see this one who was blue and he's holding the little harp but he's quite faded. Otherwise, though, you know, for as old as he is, these are from the 60s. Pretty good, pretty good shape. This one's holding a, this one is called, I wrote it down here so I would remember, a lute, <laughs> which is a string instrument that's flat on one side and it's got a long handle. But they each have, See, they've got a little ring on their hand. They've got little, little kind of fake jewel on the end of their hats. But I just thought they were darling and they go together. They're brothers. They're playing together in their little band. <laughs> and then next, this is a series of, again, elves, pixies, sprites, whatever you want to call them. There's three three. I think they might be Shawnee. There's nothing on the bottom but the little C, the little copyright emblem. Oh, see if I can do it. And they're definitely vintage. I paid ten dollars for the set of three. Now they're in, they've got a lot of crazing on them and the red, originally they had some red on their mouths and that is pretty much gone from them but i i mean aren't they adorable they look like they are just having a grand time so um anyway we have those and let's see what will we do next okay we'll do this little this is a little jim beam I'm sorry, Jack Daniels stopper. This is pewter. And I paid $2 for him, a stopper. Now, what's this for? Does this go over the spout of the... I'm assuming this goes over the spout of the bottle. But anyway, there's old Jack Daniels. <laughs> I just thought it was interesting. So I picked him up. I think somebody will... Some, some collector will like him and then this is a oh criminy a mccoy planter and he's got some crazing also and a little hole there and this he's attached to this bottom part a, a, not a very common piece but a good sturdy piece. This would look really nice on your in your kitchen window, I think. In the bathroom. It looks kind of like a little candle holder here. But I just thought I thought it was bright and summery. Okay, now this next one, and I paid, I believe I paid five dollars for this set. And it is 
a, yeah, I paid five dollars. Oh, criminy. Oh. Okay, Whew. nothing's broke, nothing's broke. Let me take that out so I can see for sure what the bottom says here. Hand painted, made in Japan. But looky. So it's got this little ball with the little round feet. A deer, a galloping deer, I would call. It's got this a lot of time. It's not so easy to find these intact. I have another set. Uh, it's kind of a tea set and it has this. This one's a little bit more sturdy than my other one. And then it has the little pitcher that goes with it and the stopper. This could be good at holiday time, but so pretty and very delicate feeling. <laughs> I don't wanna break it. Okay, I better put this over here. Okay, now this next one, I just thought was so precious. Look at the little baby boy blue. They make this in a pink for a girl also. And this is a hole from the 50s. And he is in excellent condition. I mean, look at his little rosy cheeks. And he's kind of giving you the side eye there. He's got a rattle. The little gold trim. He's just as precious as can be. Look at his little feet together like that. <laughs> oh, it's a little head tilt. Hey, Aunt Lynn, do you remember the head tilt? Hmm? <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. So this next one is Cupy. And he is... Rubens, made in Japan. I paid about $8 for him. And let me see, I think I wrote down, when was he made? Okay, I, I, I can't remember. And these are not terribly uncommon, but this one is in perfect shape. It has a pretty good resale value. I don't remember off the top of my head now. But look at him. Look at that little cupie. Looks like he's getting ready to suck his finger. And then look at the back of him. His little bottom there. And he's a planter. And so it says Japan on the bottom. I just thought he was a, just a living doll. Well, no, not a living doll, a doll. <laughs> I always called my my babies living dolls. You're a living doll. Okay, so let's, okay, now this one I thought was comical. It's made of resin. I really don't know who makes them or how old he is, but it's the cat and look, he's got his paw in there trying to get that goldfish. Look at that. I took some pretty good pictures of this. Look at him. I mean, he is serious. He's serious. The little fish is saying, help me, help me. <laughs> is that cute? Oh my goodness. Oh. So this is another, another Francoma. This is a candle holder. And looks like I paid $7.50 for this. It's not going to have a high resale value, but I thought it was handsome looking. And I have a few other Francoma pieces that this kind of matches. Pottery is so interesting, isn't it? And the, the people that make pottery are so talented. This is a INK. I, I call it a, a pottery rose bowl. 
I, I, I think this is a beautiful color, but what's interesting, oh, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. It's got a flower frog in there, a metal flower frog. And I can't remember how old this one is. It's not terribly old. I think it is vintage. But it was just handsome looking. So we have that. Okay, so now this I have had for a while. Um, when I say for a while, I mean a few years. And it is a Campbell's Little Girl Bobblehead. <laughs> I have it. I kept it just because I thought it was cute and, you know, it's got my colors on it. But she's taken up space and all my space is taken up by the stuff I need to sell. So it made a little bit more room with the few things that I, that I keep for myself. So I'm going to sell her and somebody will get a kick out of having her on their countertop. Okay, so I, I have a couple of cracked eggs that I paid. The, the big one, I paid about $6 for. And this one I paid about $3 for. They This one has the applied flowers, applied painting, or the, I don't know what else you would call it. Um, this one is hand painted. And it's got what reminds me the moriage, the raised areas also. I'd like to know how what these originated from. Because they come in different sizes and a lot of times they'll have the floral motif on them and the gold edging. But I feel like there's some reason why these came about. I just don't know what it is. <laughs> All right, these next two, two things are from Czechoslovakia. I got these, I did get these at an estate sale. And the glaze on there, the kind of, oh, I'll describe it as foggy, foggy glaze on these little vases. Czechoslovakia. I haven't researched these yet to see how much they're worth, but they grabbed my attention. They were too expensive for the together. I paid ten dollars for the two of them, which was I got them on half price day. I went the first day and saw these, and thought I wasn't going to spend twenty dollars, but I would spend ten. So I'm hoping that I can at least double my money on these. I'm pretty. I'm confident that I can. I'll sell them together. Okay. Now this is another. I just got this because it's fun. It is, you could put, actually it says ice cream, kind of in that glitter. It's got a little plastic stone there, but the metal spoon is here and it's kind of chilly here. So I think it would do a good job. It's called Wild Eye Designs. I paid $3 for it. Look at the screw, flat head, which tells me it's probably vintage, but that's that's just a fun piece. And it was summertime, so it means I better get it listed, right? Before summer goes away. Okay, so I got I have a couple of sets of salt and pepper shakers here. Now, what attracted my attention, first of all, was that these were still in the box. It's not a colorful, it's kind of a sepia tone. The, this lid, this top is, is torn. And I really appreciated the form. So when I got them home to just see if they needed to be cleaned, you tell me what you see is missing. Yeah. <laughs> so this has the P for pepper but there's no S on here. If you look closely, you can see where it was. Um, and this was made in Japan, NASCO, masterpiece in wood. So definitely vintage. 
I'm going to try to sell them anyway because maybe somebody has the salt one and they need the pepper. Or maybe they won't care because it does have an S on the top. But they were so classic, vintage, mid-century, and excellent condition, minus the S, <laughs> that I just, I got them. And because they also, because they were still in the box. So we'll see how they do. I, I, again, I know I keep saying this, but I wish I had room for this. This is something that I would, I would like to keep, like to have. Okay, and then these other salt and pepper, they're grinders. They're salt and pepper grinders. Now, this has some rust on it, and look at the screws. Not flathead, right? Okay. So, that tells you it's not as old as those other ones, probably. But they look like faucets. This is plastic. It's got the salt and pepper, and it grinds. Now, I did, they were, there was salt and pepper in it when I purchased these from an estate sale, but I could not open them up. This one still has a little pepper piece in it. You can hear it rattling. I couldn't open them up to figure out how you add the salt and pepper to these. But I figured a lot of times people have salt and pepper, they use them as figurines. Or somebody smarter and stronger than I will be able to figure it out and add salt and pepper to it. Now this little piece. So I paid $3 for this little I believe it's a little brass, little, I don't know what you put in it. Maybe your rings or a thin bracelet. This is velvet on both sides, a purple or amethyst as you would might call it. And it's got the little legs that are have some detail to them. But look at the top of this. Is that groovy? <laughs> oh gosh. I just think it is. And all the little pieces of the flowers are intact and the little orange rhinestone in the center. Just a, 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 a an interesting little piece. That would look nice sitting out. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna put this over here. Next, I got this at a thrift store. This is a Lefton. A little, again, a little trinket dish, a little uh, jewelry dish, but it's you know got the classic mid-century pink and gold, and this this. The pink part in here is textured, as well as the leaf is textured, but not a crack or a chip on it. And I dig the little kind of, um, oh, what is that shape? Not a moon shape. Oh, paisley. It reminds me of a paisley shape. So we have that. And then... I got these, $3 a piece. These are um, red wing little, little dishes. And I have some other red wing pieces too. Hand painted, made in the USA. Can you see them? I got the little salt and pepper shakers at this, I don't know if I got them at the same place, but it's the Red Wing salt and pepper shakers also I have. And I have um, a big dish. Anyway, I have some other pieces, but again, classic mid-century colors and design. So, now this one, I love these tiles. And I've sold a few tiles. This is Earth Tones. Um, and not very old, 1995. 
It's called Bear Fetish. But a very handsome, very, oh, you see the geometric forms here and here, and there's the bear. I can't remember what these characters are over here. But really, it's meant to be a trivet, or you can hang it on the wall. It's got a place where you can hang it on the wall. Okay. So, we have those things. Now, I have a few, few other things over here. This is called Switching the Freight. And this is by Bastion, um, 1953. And I don't know, I'm going to guess that there's some other figures that go with this. Now, his paint has faded. But I just love it. The little boy having fun. And it has the store that it came from. That tag is still on it. And I don't think those initials are the artist's initials that are on the bottom. I just thought it was just a very thoughtful, very, I don't know, sweet memory kind of a figurine. Okay. And then these, these are made in Japan. I paid $5 for the pair. But again, that kind of classic mid-century color, the pink. They're not exactly the same. But a cute little pair of birds made in Japan. At first, one might think that they're salt and pepper shakers. They're not. They're just little figurines, little delicate figurines. Okay, now this next thing, really, I just got it because it reminded me. And this is from the 60s. And it's just a little rattle. And he he was pretty dirty when I got him. I had to do some cleaning. They, were, they had taken a black marker and put in three initials on the bottom. I used alcohol on this plastic. It was safe to use alcohol. And I had to work it a little bit. But I was able to get those off. As a nurse, one of the things back in the day when we used to wear white. And we'd get things on our uniforms often. And we learned that alcohol... Or peroxide will take a lot of things out especially if you can get to it right away so it's just a little thing that I've learned from working as a nurse but anyway these colors are so cute and then the, the oh, it's just happy this is just happy and fun and we I think that we would get a joy out of seeing a little baby play with this so, I just got that because it was fun. Okay, so this next thing, which is the little, let me see here. This is, this is, oh gosh. can't remember who makes this. I don't think I was able to find out who makes this. Now, the, the tag on it says Rockaway Beach, Missouri. But I just thought it was, again, another fun thing. This might do well at Christmas time. You know, you could put a couple of big old those um, bottle brush trees in it or overflow it with some ornaments. That would be really cute. So he's there. This is what the bottom looks like. Now he does have a couple of scratches on the back or areas of paint loss. But <clears throat> I, I, this is definitely vintage. I can't remember what era it came from. I, I think it's the 60s that this came from. So we have that planter. And then... We have this other planter, which is a Velcro made in Japan. Look at her. I got this from an antique store. The, the one that I made, I did post 
a video about that. <clears throat> might be Timeless Treasures, might be the name of the place. And she has a lot of head planters, some beautiful ones. They're out of my price range to resell. But I thought she was so pretty with the eyelashes and they're intact and her little bow. Sometimes I have a hard time getting getting it all getting all in the cracks and crevices and getting them clean. Now, then as I was cleaning her, I noticed that she's got a crack. Let's see. Can you see that crack right there? And I can't tell because it goes up on the inside if it goes all the way through. So that's that's a flaw. It might now if this was just for me, that crack wouldn't bother me a bit. She's got some crazing. But to resell, I, I really don't like to resell things that have uh, cracks. But I'm going to anyway. I think some I think someone will like her. She is just so she is very elegant. I feel like. Yep, she thinks she's about it. <laughs> okay, and then another poodle that I have, and I paid five dollars for her. This is a Joseph's Originals. So Joseph's Originals was started out. There was a it was a woman, and her middle name I think is Joseph, and she was a a jewelry maker. And she and her husband made jewelry, but then in World War II, they couldn't get all of their, the supplies they needed, so they switched over to making these little figurines. And Joseph's original, I think they're probably most famous for the dolls that they make, but a lot of times they're, they're damaged, because it was, they started out in the 40s, and later of the 21st century, they later, like I think around the 80s or something, they moved, they started uh, having their things made in Japan. But anyway, they have really delicate pieces and they're old. And so it is hard to find everything intact. But she is, as far as I can tell, and she still has part of her, she still has this, most of this Joseph's Originals tag. And then this other tag, which I think might have been the name of the figurine, but there's, there's too much of it gone for me to tell for sure. But the little spaghetti hair, I just thought, little flowers, they're intact around her neck she's got a corsage on <laughs> oh i mean is she adorable she's a queen yeah okay and then this next one is i don't remember the brand i this is new without tag they took the tag off that came with it and you know what this is some kind of resin but all of these are Swarovski crystals. The black ones, you, it's harder to see. There's some glitter there too, but the clear ones and this red one, and she's, they've got the black Swarovski crystals all around her. I did pay $12 for her, and look at her little tutu and the crystals on there. So she is meant to be an ornament. Look at that. So when I was researching her, I found one other person that had them. And they had her as blown glass. Now, it's possible that they make the same exact one, everything the exact same, and one's blown glass and one's resin. I had to fight the impulse to send her a note and say, are you sure that's glass? But I didn't. <clears throat> but. If it's this one, when it gets to whoever buys it, they're going to know it's not glass. But it's elegant 
and <sighs> regent as she can be. See her bow? That is cute. Okay. Well, I think that's everything that I have. Oh no, these foo dogs. So, foo dogs came about, I can't remember how much I paid for this. This is some kind of resin. So, foo dogs really was kind of a United States, these actually are supposed to be lions, a female and a male. I don't know which one is which. For the female is the yin, the male is the yang. The yin is to protect the family and the yang is to protect actually the house itself. And if they have, sometimes you'll see them where they're holding something or they have something. And for the male, it'll be a globe. And for the female, oh, I don't remember, a cub, I think that they'll be hold. But again, strength protecting the outer and then this protecting the home. So anyway, these have the felt on the bottom. I don't know what the flat tops, they don't all have tops like this. I don't know what that signifies. These colors, they're just as bright and true as can be and the, the little curls on their hair. Quite a bit of detail for these. And there, a lot of people want the foo dogs. Foo dogs, the Americans got it because they're kind of a cross between a chow chow and a shih tzu. If you don't know, well, the shih tzu is not mine, he's my grandson's. But the dog that I had was also a shih tzu. And so I, I just really like them. I think they're adorable. And this does kind of look like a Shih Tzu. Their tails and stuff. Well, it looks like both Chow Chow or Shih Tzu. So somebody will like these. Somebody will want these, I know. Okay. So that's everything that I have. Will you give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Will you subscribe? and wait till my next video comes out. So my goal now is gonna be, I wanted to try to do two a week. And uh, eventually I'll cut down to maybe just 10 items at a time. And then I'll list 10 items and post 10 items. That's kind of my plan of action. So if you have any questions, comments, put them down below. You can see the things that I have to sell on YouTube, on Macari, on Poshmark, and there's all kinds of things on there. You might like something. So until later. <laughs>